I just want to do a quick walk around to this 37.1 for you real quick so you can have a look at it. Uh, I really like this A-Class quite a lot. It's got plenty of um, extra sleeping space. Uh, just going to do a quick walkthrough and show you a little bit of everything. If you want to see more, let me know. So this up here is actually a drop-down bed. It's going to lower down, and it's about the size of a full-size bed. So if we're talking kids, you can sleep two up there um, or two smaller adults. Uh, just about one person my size, but I'm pretty big. I'm 6'5", 280. Uh, you're on the Ford F53 um, chassis as well. So you are gas in this one, no diesel. Nice comfortable chairs up here. Great big dinette, could sleep two. Uh, if you're talking kids, very easily, even two adults actually, because it's so wide. Uh, you've got, rather than, this would typically be a uh, a fold down, like a love seat type of deal. This has got the theater seats option. Do have the fireplace with the TV right there that's gonna come out on a swivel. I really like the kitchenette in this because I like the induction on one side and then the propane burners on the other and a great big microwave, also a great big fridge. Here's a look at the rest of the galley with all the cabinet space. Coming on back here, you've got your bunk space here, which is designed to also function as a closet. There's actually a closet rod already up in there, so if you don't necessarily need this space, you can actually fold this up. Uh, it'll lock into place over here, and then use this as a clothes hanging closet. There's also tablet mounts in here for, uh, you know, the kids if they've got tablets. They can hook up to 12 volt power right there. There's 120 AC or you could even put a TV in there and have the external, whatever your whatever coaxial you're hooked up to outside will run in here. And then that same exact thing is mirrored down here on the bottom as well. Uh, these are pretty long. I can fit in here at that 6.5 uh, weight. And then also for traveling sake uh, or if the kids are just being bad and you want to lock them in, <laughs> these doors will actually fully button all the way up come on over here to the first bathroom uh, ceramic toilet sink and a pretty darn good size shower right there cabinet space all the way over here coming back to the master you do have a closable and lockable sliding door right here it's actually locked open right now and then great big king size tilt-a-view bed super super comfy Lots of cabinet space in here as well. Your own TV back in this area. There's also an external TV that's already in there. And you are plumbed for washer and dryer prep. Doesn't come with the washer and dryer, but if you wanted to put a combo unit, it's already plumbed for it and you would put it right here. Even more drawers and storage space down here at the bottom, which brings us over to the master bath. Again, nice, great big size shower. No smaller, the exact same size as your main one. Ceramic toilet and sink. And lots of cabinetry as well. It's a pretty great unit. I've also got about 180 cubic feet of storage down below underneath. So anything that you need to store, you're going to find a place for it in this thing. Your hitch is rated for 8,000 pounds. So you can pull a car behind this thing as well if you want to. That way when you get to where you're going, you drop your car. Uh, get your RV all set up, and then you don't uh, you don't need to move your home whenever you're traveling around. If you have any additional questions, let me know, brother. Bye bye.